Hello friends, how are you? Today we're going to see how to connect a fingerprint sensor with Arduino or how to interface between fingerprint sensor and Arduino. First of all, let me show you the communication of the sensor. This sensor has four useful pins, as you can see, ground, RX, TX, and 3.3 volt. So first of all, you need to connect the ground of the sensor to the ground on the Arduino, you know, uh, then you need to connect the 3.3 volt to the 3.3 volt on the Arduino, you know. Then you need to connect the, let me show you, the TX of the sensor to the pin number 2 on the Arduino. And you need to connect the RX pin to the pin number 3 on the Arduino. The, so that uh, the other two pins, you need to connect any one of them. Okay, now let me first put the communication wire. Okay. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, now let me connect the 3.3 volt of the sensor to the 3.3 volt on the Arduino together. Now let me connect the ground of the sensor. This is the ground of the sensor to the ground on the Arduino. Okay, this is the ground pin of the Arduino. Then, as I told you before, uh, I should connect the TX of the sensor to the pin number 2 on the Arduino. This is the TX wire of the sensor. So, to the pin number 2 on the Arduino. And the uh, TX of the sensor, this is the TX wire, uh, should be connected to the pin number 3 on the Arduino. Okay, and now let's move to the next part to write the program. Okay, and now let me compile the code and upload it on the Arduino. First of all, connect the Arduino to your PC. Okay, then go to upload and upload the code. Let me check. Okay, upload the code. Okay, done uploading. Let me run the let me run it now. Okay, as you can see here, ready. Please type in the ID number from 1 to 127 you want to save this finger. For example, I'm here I want to put the ID number. For example, I want to save my finger now to ID number 1. Let me test it. First of all, press now and press enter. Let me go back to show you what's happening now. As you can see here, uh, waiting for a valid finger to enroll as ID number 1. So, should I want to put my ID. Let me put my finger now to save it as ID number one. Okay. Image taken, image converter, remove pin. Now I should remove my finger. Okay. Let me go back again to show you what happened. Uh, place the same finger again. I should place uh, my finger again and again. Okay. Let me place it again. As you can see, creating model for ID number one, print matched, ID number one stored. Okay, okay, let me tell you what happening now. What happened so that I press on, I choose my ID that I want, that I choose number one. Then I put my finger, the fingerprint, copy my fingerprint as image and convert it. After that, to make sure that everything is clear, he asked me to remove my finger and put it again. Now, let me t t run the code again. For example, I want to put uh, my fingerprint on both ID number one and ID number five. Okay, let me write number five, 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 and press enter. As before, I should put my finger now on the sensor. You need to put well your finger. Image taken, image converter, remove finger. I remove my finger. Now I should put my finger again to take uh, another picture and uh, make sure of everything. Okay. 
as you can see here print match id number five stored ready to enroll a fingerprint so uh, from here uh, to from here you can put uh, many you can put uh, for example 127 finger on the sensor this sensor can install 127 finger and now let's see the second step for example if i want to to see if my if my key if my finger uh, print has been stored well on the sensor or he or if the sensor can realize my finger all you need to do is go to my to go to file let's test the second code example as i told you before you need to install this library if you don't have the library you don't have anything to do okay go to fingerprint no need to write anything this code has 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 already written okay and as i told you before serial communication two three same communication upload now we need to test if my finger has been uh, stored well on a sensor or not so when i put my finger on the sensor it should give me that uh, he he saved uh, my finger let me go to the serial monitor okay let me show you what happening uh, waiting for a valid finger sensor contain okay let me put my finger again image taken let me show let me go back to show you found id number five with confidence of 209 so that uh, as i told as i show you before i saved my finger in in both id number one and id number five now he realized that uh, id number five uh, but it's the same id number one and id number five and of course you can do that using two or three or five ten more fingers and of course you can combine both codes the first code and this code and as i told you before the first code used to and to register a new fingerprint and this code, uh, the second code, you can use it to check the, the fingerprint uh, registered. For example, uh, uh, you can use the first code to enroll uh, your fingerprint. Then if you want to check uh, the fingerprint or if you can use the system, the system uh, like a company system or anything else, you can do that project by the combination of the both code. Uh, this is all about our tutorial, about our video today. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe and like to our channel to see our new project, to see our new upcoming idea. And thank you for your watching.